Men should be designated to watch for snipers. Now, why is that important? How does that relate to anything? What company are we talking to right now that needs to have a person designated to watch for snipers? Let me explain. When you are doing anything and you give people important jobs as collateral duties, you can anticipate that those collateral duties will not be done with maximum effectiveness. What's collateral duties? Meaning, hey Echo, I want you to navigate, I want you to cut the brush that's out in front of us, I want you to look for booby traps, and I want you to look for snipers. Mm -hmm. Here's a third thing, just look, sorry, your fourth job is to look for snipers. How much time are you spending looking for snipers? The answer is very little, if any. Mm -hmm. So what I need to do is say, Echo, you got these three jobs, cool, but one thing I really don't wanna have happen is get hit by a sniper. Mm -hmm. So Dave, he's gonna be in the middle of the patrol, he's not cutting brush, he's not looking for booby traps. What he's gonna do is he's gonna move forward a little bit, he's gonna stop, and while the patrol moves, he's gonna be looking for snipers. That's his job. And what's the the philosophy there? Is it because, uh, of course, watching for snipers is important, but you don't wanna compromise any of your jobs because you're spread thin, or is it because a certain job kind of kind of almost in a way requires less attention from time to time? Here's an, another example. We started getting EOD, Explosive Ordnance Disposal Individuals, tasked to our platoons in the SEAL teams. Yeah. As this was happening, you know, we started getting these guys that, this was in the beginning of the war, the EO, a lot of the EOD guys that were coming on board, like they weren't, they hadn't been through any combat <laughs> skills training, they didn't really know what they were doing, and of course, I didn't really know any of these guys at the time, so I'm just thinking, why would we take a regular Navy EOD guy that's used to being on an aircraft carrier in case there's an emergency with a bomb that's strapped to an F-18 that needs to get disarmed, why would we take that guy and try and make him basically into a SEAL when it be, seems like it'd be a lot easier to me to take a SEAL, send him to an EOD school, you learn the skills, and then if something happens, you can, you can handle it. Mm -hmm. My commanding officer at the time said, hey, Jocko, here's the deal. If it's a collateral duty, he didn't use these exact words, but he said the exact same thing, which is, hey, if the enemy is gonna be using booby traps, which they are, and IEDs, we wanna have somebody that that's the focus of their life. And I, as soon as he said that, I was like, oh, good point, thank you. I will gladly train an EOD individual so that they are focused on keeping us alive. So if you have prior, it's, it's, it's a form of prioritize and execute. Right. Meaning I can't take something that's important. If I deem something is important, I need to assign it to a person as their primary responsibility. Mm. 